<laughs> At least you realized that. Oh, what? Oh, there she is right there. Hey! All right. See the hole. All right. We're going to have to just run that all over again. Yeah, is that all right, Tom? Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Falcons Corner, Voice of the Falcons, Mike Ricker, the good guy, the know the co-host, Danny Berg, and behind the camera, the SID, Tom Ferguson. I know we're going to talk Athlete of the Week, but the true Athlete of the Week, Tom's Barber. Ooh! <laughs> this, we got his fresh dust. I noticed fresh that a couple cut. days ago, last, you know, last right. week I noticed that. He's got the fresh yeah. haircut and stuff, you know. But he's still staying behind the camera. He's still staying behind All the right. camera, you know, we thought. All but, right. But yeah. Who, who does your hair, Tom? Uh, we, have, uh, we have a girl who does my hair the last couple years that my wife had been going to okay it has kind of taken me in as well uh -huh. so. nice. All, right. All, right. Nice. Well, all right good yeah it's all always right. nice i got my hair cut too no one knows my haircut i don't have much to cut so yeah. you got your when did you get your fresh i got my hair cut on saturday oh, i think okay saturday or sunday i can't remember i don't even know what what's today Ah, <laughs> maybe Tuesday. Tuesday? <laughs> or no we're back on we're back same like back on our time and our day yes yes That's been about a month and so a half. So you're the guy out. You're the only guy without a fresh haircut. Yeah, well, I, I don't have much to work well, with. Well, you still got to trim it up, though. I do trim it up, usually every two months. I've been right. going to the same person for over like 20 years. Okay. Uh, best deal going. Good. Five bucks. Yeah, hey. Ten bucks. Can't maybe. be ten bucks. Five, ten, it's all the I same. I don't remember. It's probably ten. But I, I got to drive to I drive to where she's at, which is which is good because she doesn't, have, you know, she kind of does it out of her house now. So. Yeah. But yeah, same. Good. But there's, she doesn't have much to work with, so that's why she doesn't charge her much. Well, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so. All right, but now we got to talk athletics after we, we talked our beauty secrets. Well, yeah, I mean, that's how we get ready for the show. Yes, exactly, and stuff too. So, um, again, weather kind of plays havoc with schedules a little bit, you know, as you, know, you found out this weekend. So we'll start with probably the most hectic scheduling was softball, right, this past weekend? Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it was one of the tougher, tougher weekends we've had in a while. Right. But, uh, yeah, so like the weekend itself, we played Potomac State. Um, very good Potomac State. Yeah. I, I mean, think they were, weren't they receiving votes? Receiving in the votes. I wouldn't be surprised if they're ranked yeah. uh, this week, but they're 20-2 and two after they beat us. Yeah. So. Right. So it was, a, it was scheduled to be a best of three series. Um, the Steamtown Half Marathon, or the Scranton Half Marathon, kind of played a factor in that and, you know, maybe getting an alternate site for Sunday, which right. Penn State Scranton was gracious enough to host us. But that two inches of rain we got last Thursday night, right, kind of kind of jammed us up a little bit. Our field was playable on Saturday. You know, Bobby Booth and and uh, Bill McDonough and Coach Pittsman got right. it together, which was awesome, and the weather helped. Uh, but you know, certain fields weren't playable. Calling around, trying to find them, but then the weather itself. We got another inch of rain uh, Saturday right. and the Sunday. So unfortunately. A lot of scrambling. Uh, we, we tried to get an alternate site for Sunday, but again, the weather. It was 35 degrees and raining, sleeting right. at some point. Yeah. Um, so the best of three series was just a doubleheader. Doubleheader, yes. So, so but and long then, and short of it. That, yes. It was miserable. And the, <laughs> and the Falcon softball bats were quiet over the weekend. As hard as you were working on the phones <laughs> and Coach Pitt on the phones to find an alternate site, the bats were not working as well um, Saturday for their home opener. They were shut out both games, nine and six zero. Yeah, nine, nine nothing and five, five nothing. Five nothing okay. Second game, they they were a Second little. Second game, they were, it was close. Yeah, M Michaela Quick pitched a good game. Yeah, uh, kind of lost it towards the end of the the fifth and the sixth, but right. they had a little more hits. They're a little more lively. Just couldn't couldn't get that hit they needed to get yeah. a run. Yeah, and that's something that Coach Pitts talked about a lot. Is just you know getting that big hit. You know, especially when you have a hard time scoring runs, a little bit extra pressure when you got you know ladies on base and. You know, for the play, and it's like, all right. right, you know, we need to score, and you know, just a little extra pressure. But, you know, so they dropped two over the weekend, but they're back home this upcoming weekend. Yes, yes, they, yes, they are. Uh, so we have two Saturday and Sunday. Yep, double headers all around. So on Saturday, uh, you know, softball rival, uh, the Vikings from Mercer County uh, Community College, they're coming here on Saturday. I think we're at noon and two. 
and then um, a Division III uh, Region 19 opponent who's nationally ranked in and out every single year. Uh, Coach Bo, I think, has over 1,000 wins in his career okay. or something like that. Uh, Brookdale Community College Good. is coming here for uh, for a doubleheader. So they'll have, you know, hopefully the weather holds out. Right. Um, it looks like I don't think Thursday it's going to be great, but it's going to be better. enough for us to Yeah, Thursday to is the, the only week, in. the day that we're yeah. supposed to get totally washed out. So having access to our fields for both days so we know it'll be ready to go. Yep. Um, but even on the season, you know, Mercer, they're I think they're sitting in second place uh, in, in the, the division. I think they're 12 and one. Or actually, no, it's just that none of our softball teams actually right. played any, any region opponents. Right, yet. yeah. So I, was, so I know Coach Pitt was you know, So maybe the bats their, being... It's their region 19. Maybe, we save maybe, them for the region. Maybe the bats go and it was just like, let's just give them a minute to recharge because they've been hitting them so hard. Uh, and then Brookdale's 9-3 and three on the season. So okay. a weekend full of softball games at home and baseball. Well, we can't get the baseball yet because we're not done about softball. I thought we were done with softball. <laughs> no. Oh, what else we got? We're letting them well, know they're playing. We have to talk about how Emma, previous athlete of the week, is going to be coming on as a guest with Tom. Oh, is that today? Yes, or have a guest I should know that. that. He just told me. Yeah, so you know, wow. we have to talk about that. I have to, we have to talk about how I was at the softball game, and I had to observe. Speaking of bats, the most ridiculous thing, and I've been around <laughs> baseball my entire life. <sighs> is bat testing the most ridiculous th- i don't care it's the worst idea than the gulf atlantic wrestling championships <laughs> is the bat testing and i don't know if i'm gonna get in trouble for that or not well but it we is absolutely ridiculous the bat testing i just don't understand i don't get it Dude, i don't get it i don't get it uh, but we have our stickers for them and we have to improve our stickers our sticker game Ooh, eric he's calling you out on that potomac one potomac state had sweet Bat yeah. stickers, All yeah, right. yeah. Okay. They were there. I would mention that to Tom too. You know, Saturday All they had right. some sweet because I had observed the bat testing. Right. They had some really, really. <laughs> did you nice sign off on it too? I signed off on it too. <laughs> Actually, I did, printed off. On did it they still have the name. bat? Did they still have the bat list that they have to bring yes. with them too? Okay. Yes. You know, I, at that time, I thought that was the most ridiculous thing and because they, at the time you had to have a new packet for every game. We're just killing trees, and they. And they couldn't even like go hit like pregame. Like they couldn't even get into the cage until, until the bats were bats, tested. Yeah. And then they're tested, and then they have to be lined up in order in front of the dugout. So and the even though they were can do the and, yes, and even though they were tested and they all passed, the umpires threw, still threw out two bats. I don't understand what's going on. Did with they bats. really? Yes. Oh boy, I can't wait <laughs> I to hear about this when we go to commercial. I don't. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Yeah. I don't get it. Yeah, Coach Pitt says we tested them all, and they still threw out two of them, <laughs> and they were stickered. Whatever. You just wasted your signature on those two. Oh, or, I'm sorry, your printing. My printing, yes. But, yeah, I don't understand the whole bat testing. I don't either. Great. You know, I, would, I made sure we I had I like bat testing. Test. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I want to test my bat to make sure it's not dead. Because I used to hit the crap out of the baseball. So right. my bat would take a beating. Right. So I would like to test make my sure bat that did. Make sure it could still Right. And then back pop. in the day, we would just take the knob of the bat and click, knock it on the ground. It's like, and oh, you hear it feels, it. sounds good. Yeah. You know, sounds we're good. It's kind of yeah. like a light bulb. When you shake it, you're like, yeah, it doesn't sound so good. Yes. So, yeah. Yes. And then are we streaming any of the softball games this weekend? That is something we have to determine because okay. uh, as as you interrupted Danny from saying, we also have baseball doubleheaders yes. on Saturday <laughs> and Sunday. So we have that's a determination we have to make. Well, we're going to do. Okay. So we have a staff meeting tomorrow. Yes. And, and we'll it will be discussed because we do have people who are willing to work both games. Okay. But our mad scientist the boss uh and i were kind of discussing that late yesterday afternoon when we found out we had people to potentially work both of them uh and just getting maybe another hot spot or how we can make it work because saturday are both huge right uh region region games so we want to be able to we have the capability of streaming them well go ahead you can talk about baseball network you're getting of doing it we have to make sure that we have the means to have internet access where it is uh and 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 such but baseball baseball big weekend yeah Doubleheader Saturday and Sunday. Speaking of again. bats not being quiet. What, baseball? Baseball. They were just all last week. Yeah. Swept region opponent on, what, Thursday mm-hmm. at Raritan, yep. which was a makeup of like three different times. Right. <laughs> a sweep of Morris on Saturday. Sunday, non region divisional opponent. They went right. down to Salem. Right. They still split. split, but I mean, that's a two and a half hour ride. Um, as of 8.45 that morning, we weren't sure if they were going to play. Right. They were checking their field and, and, and things. So they did a nice job of getting it together. But they were just on the road, and they had six games in, yep. in what, four days? Yeah. So, yeah, and one five of them. And they were all on the road. Yep. And we do have to say thank you to Jack Sullivan and Roger Stevens right, at, making at Morris because the rain that kind of affected us with softball really did a number on our baseball field where there was ducks yeah. swimming around in the outfield on, uh, on Saturday or Friday morning. So they were willing to have us come to them Good. and they were able yep. to 
uh, host us. I mean, sure, everybody wants to play at home all the time. Well, yeah. But a uh, quick decision, like late Friday afternoon, we'd rather get the games in than not right, and keep backlogging the season. Back and, yeah. so, um, so thank you to them and, and for Coach McCary for being flexible. Um, but, you know, they went out there and Kyle Scott threw, threw yep. some, oof. He was that's up a for good consideration. Guy to, that's a good right? guy to have go in game one of a weekend region. Oh, absolutely. Doubleheader, you yeah. know. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, all right, let's throw our big guy out there. Let's throw our ace and uh, let's, yeah. get, let's get game one under our belt. At and least then, uh, guarantee, hopefully, hopefully guarantee a split, which they did. Yep. We got the sweep. Fantastic. They're killing it. Good weekend for baseball. Yeah. Good yeah, real good weekend. Yep. What are they, 13 and 11 13 and overall? 8. 13, 13 and, and 8, 8 now. Yes. Yeah, I mean, coming along, especially hasn't been above 60 degrees. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's, you know, it's, we know. Yeah. We know. We're, we'll get there eventually. But yeah, Eventually, yeah. It hasn't been really 50 degrees in a while, neither. But I think it's going to be 50, but rainy in the next couple of days, though. But, yeah. You know. Can we start throwing, like, forecasts up on the bottom of the screen? Like, I'll start just, just, just have, rain, just have <laughs> rain falling behind yeah, us. Just That's all. Something like that. But well, before the weekend, we do go to Northampton. Okay. On, on Thursday for a single game, uh, we go down to Northampton. And they're always okay, right? They're, they're ranked. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're ranked. pretty good. This past yeah. week, they got ranked again. Uh, Adrian, he's been there forever. He right. does a great job. But they're they're traditionally getting themselves to the World Series every year. So it's great to have a relationship with them where you're willing to play that Division two to three matchup. Right. And it's only 70 minutes away. Right. And it's been so. a, even though it's Division three, it's beneficial for both sides. Oh, you know, we're a- getting absolutely. A quality there's times that opponent, they, and they're oh. getting a quality D2 opponent and yeah, see and where it, they're and at. It's, so. You know, there's wins going both ways, and it's no guarantee either way, but it's a great opportunity. So we'll play them here. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, we're at uh, Northampton yep. Thursday. Then they come up to us maybe next week or the week after mm-hmm. or something like okay. that. So, But there's good flexibility there. You know, if you really wanted to know stuff. when those games are going to oh, be played, where could they go? LackawannaFalcons.com. Really? Yes. How about it? Yeah, and if you want to know what games we're streaming, you know where you can go to? Where? Social media oh, sites, all of them. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, mm-hmm. Twitter Tom. Always there. Yeah. Yeah. He's always there. Yeah. <laughs> so are we going to, are we, what are we doing? We always take a break. Yeah, take a break. Because Emma's coming in and there's a chance that we may be talking to a repeat athlete of the week, this week's athlete of the week. Go ahead, Tom. Quinn Hannafin. We didn't talk to him last time he was athlete of the week, which was just a couple weeks ago, but he is raking. So we said, well, might as well make him athlete of the week again. Maybe we'll get a chance to talk to him this time. Do we talk to him for twice as long? No. Okay. That'll make for a longer episode. We're not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we could just talk to him twice as quickly. Ooh. I think so. Yeah. So we're going to talk to Emma. But Emma likes to talk. So, you know, just on the length of the episode, it's not our fault. It's Emma's. <laughs> no, Emma likes to talk. She, she is, she's, she's an awesome, awesome girl. And she's a local girl, too. So, right. you know. Talk to be, Emma? Yeah. All right. All right. Good. So we'll take a break. We'll be back. You get your interviews in. Tom is itching to get back on camera. He, well, he got the fresh do. I know. He's ready. <laughs> Wait till you see this. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> yes. Uh, we'll be back in the Pockets Corner to take flight. You know, going to college is a lot more than just about getting an education. It's a life experience. It's personal growth. Connections that last a lifetime. It's memories that are everlasting and experiences that you could have never imagined. It's an education that will change your life forever. This is life changing. This is Lackawanna College. Hey, it's Tom Ferguson, Sports Information Director, and we're on Falcons Corner. And finally, we're getting one of our athletes of the week here in the chair with me. We've got Emma McNally from the Lackawanna softball team, was our athlete of the week a couple weeks ago. Uh, Emma, thanks so much for taking time. I know you're kind of in between classes and all that. Thank you for so having me. Appreciate you coming on. And uh, it's been a tough. Tough couple of years for the spring sports uh, and, and on all levels, kind of getting it in. So what's it been like for you to 
kind of get back to normal, if you will, with the spring sports season? Um, I think it's been really good to get back into the season. Um, high school, I didn't really have that long of a season, obviously. I missed my junior year of high school. Senior year, we finally had a season. So mm -hmm. it feels good to get back in the swing of things to yeah. finally get like into how it used to be. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. How have things gone so far uh, in your estimation for the Falcons? Um, I think pretty well. We're adjusting not having some people we were, we were going to have because of some things that happened. Um, I think everyone's adjusting to going in new positions, leading the team. I think we're doing a pretty good job at least. Yeah. Uh, now, Mike told me you don't like to hear your numbers. No. <laughs> so so I'm, I'm not going to I'm not gonna spend a ton of time, but you're leading the team in a lot of categories, especially extra base hits, home runs, doubles, RBIs, batting average, all that stuff. What What's working for you at the plate right now? Um, I just work my hardest off the field. I feel like if I want to drive a pitch, I drive the pitch. I've really been working on uh, hitting opposite field. Yeah. I used to pull the ball all the time. So that's really what's been working for me. Um, I don't think too much. I used to be like a really big thinker in high school. I always overthought about everything. Now I just get up there and hopefully hit the ball. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> and, and clearly it's been working for you so far. I mean, uh, what do you, uh, one thing I've noticed with you guys uh, seems to be consistency mm -hmm. where, where like you have a game maybe where you're not up and running yeah. and then the next day you guys are firing in all cylinders. Yeah. How, do you, how do you get that consistency going? I think we don't like to lose. That's the number one thing. We don't like sure. to lose. <laughs> Everyone doesn't like to lose. But um, getting that momentum, we, if we don't have momentum in the first game, mm -hmm. we usually talk about getting the momentum and getting our hits because I feel like most of the games are like down a lot if we don't get runs or if yeah. we're losing, which is really bad to put into the next game. So we really hope and get like the momentum going for the next game. Well, That's I thought I thought this weekend, you know, you guys played a really tough team, yeah, they were good. State. Uh, you had that tough first game, mm -hmm. and then it seemed like the second game, you guys had a little more fight. Yeah, you just couldn't get that. No, hit. We, you got we couldn't needed, grasp. Right? Like we had, I had, I was up a couple times with people in scoring position. I couldn't score them. Um, but we really have been working hard, I think, off on and off the field. Mm -hmm. Like to beat a team like that, you have to be able to hit, and we just couldn't that day. Yeah. But they were really good. But I think if we played them again, we would have beat them. Yeah. On yeah. Sunday. Um. So what? You're from Scranton, uh, mm -hmm. fr from the area here. Uh, so what kind of sold you on coming to Lackawanna College? Um, well, I'm actually going to the cardiac sonography program. So that was like one of the bigger things for mm -hmm. me. And nowhere else really has that. But the softball program is really, really, really good here. Yeah. Um, and I wanted, to, I wanted to go away at first. And then I just stayed local to save my parents, stuff like that. But um, yeah, the softball program really sold me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and you know, you have an opportunity to do what you wanted to yeah. do, obviously, mm -hmm. and, and still play. I mean, what's it like for you uh, playing on the field that you played in high school? Is there a little bit of a difference? Is it, um, is it kind of strange? It, yeah, it's kind of strange because I thought I was, like, going to leave and, like, go play somewhere else. But it's kind of, like, bittersweet, I would say. Um, I don't know. It's with a different team, new atmosphere. Yeah. I actually do really like it. I mean, the field, they did a lot of work to the field. The sure. field used to be really, really bad, and it's in, like, really good condition now. So that's, like, a good thing, I guess. Well, how do you like your teammates? How do you like I like everyone, actually, yeah. Um, I like the upperclassmen, the freshmen, obviously, with me. But I really like us so far this year. Do you have any any pregame pre -game rituals, superstitions, like um, something you got to eat before a game? Yeah, I do like my that? hair the same every single game. I will never do it a different way. I've done it since I was, like, 10 or 11. Okay. Um, I used to wear the, wear the same softball pants, but now I wear different ones. So, like, that's kind of broke, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um I think that's it, but the hair is the biggest, biggest thing. How do you how do you have to wear your hair? I braid it, and then do you ever hear of bubbles? No. So there's like a new <laughs> a new hairstyle. You put it in a ponytail, and then they look like bubbles. All the girls do it now. I just started doing it like probably like two two years ago. It used to just be the braid, but I added something. It's a good thing we're talking about hair because we actually talked about hair uh, earlier when we were doing our, our Falcons corner. Mm -hmm. We talked about haircuts and all that. So it's a good thing <laughs> that you brought that yeah. up. Consistency. We're yeah. rolling through here. That's that's good. All right. So who on the team is the funniest teammate? Who's the one that kind of lightens the mood the best? Funniest teammate? Probably Gwen. She's a freshman with me. She's from uh, Avoca. She went to Scranton Prep. Um, she's a jokester, I would say, oh, yeah. I would say, yeah, but a lot of the girls are, like, if there's something going on, we, like, pick everybody up. Uh, Michaela Quick always is laughing, 
all the time. Yesterday at practice, she could not stop laughing. Um, but probably Gwen, I would say. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it helps lighten the mood. Yeah, right? it does. Yeah, if anything's tense, she'll lighten up a little bit. So, what are your goals uh, personally and as a team for the rest of the season? Um, so, I'm very team oriented. Uh, I want to put the team first. That's my goal. Um, but I want to make sure I stay hitting, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I want to win a lot more games. And I think as a team, we're like coming together finally. Yeah. I knew it was going to take like a, a little while. And me as a freshman, I just knew that was just going to be how it was going to be. Like I didn't know anybody really coming except Gwen and a couple other people. Right. So um, I'm just happy we're like getting consistent, like kind of, I would say. Um, but as a team, I, we want to get far. Does it help you too, as as a freshman, to have you know someone like Gwen, who you played against, obviously yeah. have someone like Megan, who's from Dunmore, mm -hmm. have someone like Michaela, who's from Tunkana, yeah. kind of have that Northeast yeah, PA connection? Yeah, it feels good because I actually didn't know Gwen. Like I, when I played against her, I didn't know her. Sure. But um, I was like talking to her about like Lackawanna when I played against her. I was like, Oh, are you going to come to Lackawanna? And it was like good to like start a friendship before the season started here. Yeah. Um, we're actually really close friends, and we started to become close friends when, when I played against her last year. Right. Yeah, right. so it actually is good to have some locals. Uh, now, I know he's a couple doors over. What do you think of Coach Pitt? I like Coach Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I, no. like, I don't know. I like how he gets on you. you know, I don't know. Like for hitting, at least for me, I always ask him about hitting because that's like my number one thing, I feel like. And I'm getting better in the field, which is good too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's a good coach. Yeah. Most of the, I think the whole staff is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Does he, is he the one that picks the music? Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I wasn't sure because I, I heard some I heard some classic rock, which is fine. Yeah. But I was like, I don't think they're picking the music. No, we actually are. That's oh, our, that's you yeah, guys. Those okay, are all most right. of the walk-up songs. Uh, one, I think Michaela Quicks is Thunderstruck. Okay. So yeah, that was. One. <laughs> yeah, I know. Surprising. <laughs> well, Emma, we appreciate your time. Thank you. Uh, certainly, we'll be watching you guys throughout the rest of the season and whatnot. Hopefully, we get a couple more W's we can talk about. Yeah, hopefully. And more things to write about on the yeah. website and all that, but. Um, We'll see what happens, and uh, you guys are back in action Saturday. Saturday. Mercer. Mercer, big region game, yeah. open in Region 19 play. I mean, how important is that for you guys, too, to get off on the right foot in the yeah, region? Yeah, because that's just really big. I know Mercer, is, they've always been good. Yeah. It's always been, like, really good game when we've played them before. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really excited. And then you got Brookdale coming in yeah. on Sunday, who uh, is a division or different division, mm -hmm. but still in the region, usually yeah. nationally ranked and a part of that. So, I mean, you're getting some yeah. good competition. It's good get the region wins right Absolutely. when we come out so Absolutely. So Emma, we appreciate your time. Thank you. And uh hopefully we can have you back again soon. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more at Falcons Corner. Take flight. Imagine the innovator you could be tomorrow with an innovative education today from Lackawanna College. Our Level Up program puts high school students on an early college pathway for an easier college transition and faster degree attainment at a dramatically lower cost. That's why Fast Company named us one of the world's most innovative companies. With an education from Lackawanna College, imagine where you'll be tomorrow. This is life changing. This is Lackawanna College. Hey, it's Tom Ferguson, and we're continuing our Athlete of the Week interviews here on Falcons Corner. I've got Quinn Hannafin from the Lackawanna College baseball team joining me, and Quinn, already two time Athlete of the Week. Big week for you guys this past week. Uh, first of all, congratulations. Thank you know, you. good to get the season up and running. Uh, what's it been like for you? I know yet last year you guys had a season somewhat, mm -hmm. but it was still kind of dealing with COVID protocols. This year probably feels a little more real to you. What's that been like? It's been good. We haven't been able to get outside much, but I'm hoping the weather cracks soon. Yeah. Get out. Well, that's the thing, you know, you guys have gotten a lot of games in, but the weather has not been very cooperative yeah. here, and, and that's been an issue. But, um, you know, you guys had some younger kids playing, uh, some, some guys in different positions this past week, still managed mm -hmm. to go 5-1. and one. I know you hit really well over 500 and all that, but how, how satisfied were you with, with your teammates and, and, and yourself, your performance this past week? It was good. We were down a couple guys for reasons, and we were able to battle back and get, get a couple wins. This is good. Well, especially, you know, the, the, the big win, uh, I was talking to Coach McCary earlier, he, he felt like the wins at Morris were really important mm -hmm. for you guys because, you know, those are region games. Morris is always very good. Yeah. And, uh, to, to kind of battle the way you guys mm -hmm. did was impressive, right? Yeah, with being able to go in there with limited guys and be able to still get a win against the team we'll probably see again in playoffs, we'll, we're going to have to beat them. 
it's going to be a team we're going to have to see again. What's been working for you so far this year? Because your your numbers wise, you're, you and you and Cody have really stood out. Honestly, mm-hmm. everybody has, but you and Cody have stood out, and you're leading the team in multiple categories when you talk about OPS and mm-hmm. extra base hits and RBIs. What's been working? How are you seeing the ball so well? What, what's happening right now? I guess is is we just want to keep things simple, kind of go in there with a, a don't care attitude. It yeah. doesn't matter. Uh, if it's a strike, if it's a ball, it just matters. If you can hit it, hit it. Mm-hmm. Hit it in fair play. Just put it in play, make things happen. And you guys have a new coach and, and, and Coach Jeski mm-hmm. uh, who, who's been kind of helping you guys out. Obviously, he has a lot of experience in the big leagues. What's it been like kind of having him mm-hmm. oversee what you guys are doing? Mm-hmm. It, it's, it's good to have him because he, he's, he's the same way. He kind of keeps it. It doesn't matter if your swing's good, ugly, bad. As long as you hit, get a base hit, get on base, basically. That's the name of the game stay relaxed was that was that something that he kind of told you guys to do or was that something that like he kind of changed mm-hmm. for you guys this year yeah uh, he, he basically just told us to like eliminate the umpires don't worry about them because it, it'll be good they'll be bad mm-hmm. just basically get a pitch you can hit and hit it right be aggressive early right swing at good pitches you're from Sayre, right? Yeah. So what was it about Lackawanna College uh, that made you think, all right, this is where I want to be, this is where I want to play? Um, it's like, it's really my only option, basically, but it's a good JUCO. I was looking to come here because it was getting late. I didn't really have much interest. Yeah. I emailed McCary. He emailed me right back, got on the phone with me in like 20 minutes with emailing him. I kind of just knew. It was like, he cares, so I might as well mm-hmm. go someplace where he wanted. Well, and what's that? That had to be special for you to have a coach who who believed in mm-hmm. you and, and yeah. wanted to give you this chance, right? Yeah, I mean, because uh, in high school there'd be coaches just in and out, but never stuck. Right. And he just he called me. I emailed him, and it was just immediately. So right, right. It's just it was a connection. Now. Baseball players in particular seem to be superstitious. Is mm. there anything that, you know, pregame ritual, routine, something that you mm. need to do? No. I, I oh, read love. Like, now I don't really care about superstition. No. Just go in and play. But younger, when we were younger, it was always like uh, the planes in the sky, like the, the clouds. If we saw the clouds, the contrails, I think it's called. If you saw the contrails, we were going to win that day. <laughs> now I got over that because... We're playing in snow weather now, so you can't really <laughs> see them. What about what about the hair? Because you got you got you got really good hair. Yeah. Here. As, as someone who doesn't have a ton of it right now, like you're, I does that have to be a certain way, a certain mm-hmm. way to keep keep track mm-hmm. of it, or no? Mm-hmm. It can be shaved. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, so, so, what about like meals on campus? Is there is there something here that you rely on that's kind of your go-to here at Lackawanna College? Taco Tuesday. Yeah. Taco Tuesday. Oh, so, so so today's a big day. For yeah, you. <laughs> big day. <laughs> what about on the team? How do you how do you get along with your teammates? We all get along. We click like a family. It is, it, we came in in the fall, more new guys than old returners, and it was just day one. We just clicked. It was like we known each other since we grown up. Yep. So it's it's good. Well, and you mentioned all these new guys, and, and some of them certainly already started to contribute. So how are how are you and, and, and Kyle and Cody and some of these guys that have been here before and certainly been to the World Series mm-hmm. last year? How are you guys kind of keeping them focused on what you guys want to do moving forward? Basically, we just try to hammer down and just do what we're supposed to do. Get in, get your daily work in, get your lift in. Get everything you got to get done, and we should be fine. Just yeah. play our game, stick to what we do best. Because that—that's the goal ultimately, mm. right? Is to get yeah. back to Oklahoma, right? Yeah. That, nothing, nothing but that. That's, yep. That's the. That's the bottom line. Yeah. We got to get back. Yep. So you guys got some big games coming up. Uh, you know, Northampton on Thursday mm. this week uh, for a single game there, and then you've got uh, what Dell Tech on Saturday. Mm. Obviously, going to be a big region game. Uh, what's kind of your? I mean. From the sounds of it, it seems like you're you're just focused game by game. Mm-hmm. What you can do, what what's kind of your goals for the rest of the year? Uh, obviously, other than the ultimate mm-hmm. one there. Basically, just keep winning, find ways to win. That's it. Yeah. Really. Yep. Keep grinding out, and that's mm-hmm. well. We certainly hope that we can talk to you more it, uh, and, and talk more about success and, and wins on the year. Um, congratulations on Athlete of the Week. Thank you. And uh, and we'll be in touch. Absolutely. Thank you. We'll be back with more. It's Falcons Corner. Take flight.
everybody back in the Falcons corner, voice of the Falcons, Mike Rickert, the good guy, the note, the co-host, Danny Berg, the SID who just appeared on camera with his fresh new haircut, Tom Ferguson. Ooh, style. I'm Emma. Watch out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon you be like Fonzie. You can pull like a comb out of your jacket he or something. He could just start, start ringing. <laughs> Nothing will connect me to the kids faster than doing that. <laughs> and I don't know how many, if there's any kids watching the show who know what Fonzie is, but us <laughs> older people, we all know who. We know who Fonz is. Who Fonz is. I think this guy knows who Fonz is. <laughs> 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 He's got his collar popped up. <laughs> uh, but special thanks to all our guests. We love and our student athletes. Come yeah. on and get a chance to chat and uh, you know promote yeah. them as best as we get can. To know so them a little kudos, bit more, right? Yes, kudos, kudos, awesome. kudos. Speaking of our student athletes, Naya Morris, women's basketball player. Did I get that right, Naya Morris? Naya Morris, second team All American. Yeah, big time. Awesome. Like that's huge. Huge. Yeah, yeah. So. Nia Morris, you know, a great season. She was region player of the year. Yep. Um, so, you know, well-deserved honor at the end of the season. I know Coach Whittington was super excited. Yep. And super excited that, you know, Nia will be back next year. Um, so, I mean, how do you follow that up? Got to go first team. Yep. I mean, that's and you got to get on the re- – and I know Coach Whittington has mentioned this – get on the re- recruiting trail and get her some more help. Yeah, that's you know, it. Because we are losing some ladies we are. Know, that will be moving on. So – but having Naya back is huge for it Coach is. Whittington. Yeah. How could you not take them seriously when you have a returning second team All American yeah, exactly, coming exactly. back for her COVID year? Yeah, that's so, it. So you know, but you know that's still a little ways away. But I know Coach Whittington is very excited. Has yeah. her girls working out and doing all their things that they do in their they off are. season. They are beautiful. Yeah. And then women's soccer was away last weekend. They played a little seven on seven. They did. They did like uh, I call it the Rosemont Sevens. They were down at Rosemont College. Okay. They played uh, Montgomery County Community College, and I think it was P- uh, Penn State Burks, I think, or Penn State Bucks. I don't remember. Yeah, it was one of those. It was P- PSB. So yes. it was one of them. I can't remember. And it went it one, might one, have been Brandywine, too. Or, I don't oh, know. Oh, yes. was it Penn State Brandywine? Yes, it may Brandywine. have been that, too. Uh, yes. It's a B. And that's close. That's There's right. a lot of Penn State campuses down yeah. there. Penn but State Berg. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's a B. <laughs> Penn State Berg. No. 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 <laughs> Maybe I not. like that. Yeah, maybe we can make it happen. Maybe yeah. we can get that trend soon. <laughs> sure, but but they went one, one, and one. Yes. Six goals, four, three against. Yep. Great opportunity for them to be able to play. So, yep. Uh, men's soccer, I know at the end of the month, they're working on trying to play at Penn or at uh, Matt Marywood. Right. Uh, in the afternoon day of games. It's the last date that we can actually play any spring scrimmages. So, it'll be with Marywood and Penn State Scranton. So, good. Good. So everyone is quite active and busy. And not to forget, football is having kind of an open practice on Saturday because they have a handful, I want to say more than a handful, 40-plus recruits, I believe, come into town, and they are invited to practice. So they will be in full pads and ready to go. Yeah. So I'm excited about you know going down and watching Coach Duda do his thing. You know, especially right. putting on a show in front of the recruits yeah. and stuff too. So yeah, I look forward um, to that. You know, so that'll be that'll be fun too. So, but for all our updates, like we mentioned earlier in the show, LackawannaFalcons.com, Twitter, Instagram, it's, Facebook. I think that's got it all covered. That's it. Is there any Twitch mentions that we have to? Uh, I mean, you know, esports still doing their thing. Overwatch still competing in their spring schedule and okay. all that. So they're they're continuing to to do their. Their right. kind of thing, so yeah, it's and like it, the falls. They're busy, time right? Too, mm-hmm. And I mentioned like Twitch because I had to purchase a new television, and it had, came with like free Twitch for a little while. Really? Or something. Yeah, oh. I didn't set it up or nothing, but you know, but maybe I will. Gotcha. Now Who you knows? can watch it. You yeah. can watch the Falcons. You can watch the birds. Well, it's free. I don't know how long it's free <laughs> for, so that might not be a paid subscription. I right. may or may not get. I'm not sure yeah, yet, but I'll have to we'll check it out, out and see what it's about and stuff right. too, you know, so. But I think that's it, Tom. We got everything? Yeah, I mean, uh, everybody else is, we, we touched on the spring sports. I mean, I know we kind of touched on the sports out of season. I know volleyball has had a couple recruits. Uh, yep. I, I know and he's Coach starting uh, some Coach spring practices this Friday. Good. So their new net system came in last weekend, which was pretty I saw cool. the boxes awesome. in, yeah. our, in so our closet better. upstairs. So they're going to start I'm excited Friday for volleyball. Yeah. I'm excited for volleyball. Yeah, Coach so. Pete's doing a real real good job getting yep. kids signed and stuff like that. So Awesome. All right. All right. Good. Falcons, have a great week. W's across the board. That's it. We'll see you next week on the Falcons Corner Take Flight.